All right. This is Ted Daigle with EXP Realty, and I uh, have a lot of um, new buyers uh, not really do not really fully understand the um, flyer, a listing flyer, and uh, I'm going to explain and compare two homes who which are two totally um i guess you could say different homes but they're uh new construction homes and they are about the same size but they are a different price and i'm going to explain to you exactly why so uh just hang tight so here's a few things that i'm going to go over um what is a flyer um basically the flyer is um the little the little paper you find in a, a box in one of the um, homes that are for sale. You see a for sale sign and sometimes they have the little flyer box. It's that. It could also be when a agent sends you a listing from Flex MLS. That is a flyer. Listing, basically the same information. And um, you have all the information on that flyer and on the uh, listing from online from the agent we're going to discuss listing price per square foot also listing price a lot dims a lot dimensions is important as well amenities location property value and resale value okay let's go on over to the properties okay so the first thing we're going to discuss is um uh price right here if you look up here here's the price that's the asking price of the home um we'll scoot on over here to the left this is the type it's a detached single family meaning it's a it's it's a home on it on not connected to another home like a townhome would be um uh attached single family uh it's not a mobile home um so the parish is Lafayette. The area, what the area describes is um, there's different sections of, you would say, I guess, Acadiana um, that is uh, listed as areas. And uh, each area has a letter or some areas have a, a group, a letter and a number. And that, that can tell you exactly where the house is in that particular area. The subdivision, San Sebastian, the school, middle school, high school, the lot number, the builder, and what style home, the legal description. This can be found on the um, tax assessor's website, uh, lot 172 of San Sebastian. And this is um, the lot dimensions or the lot size, okay? Then they'll have directions. Also up here, they'll have square foot living okay and list price per square foot these two items are very important okay guys also you look at this number and these two numbers as well all right this one has a four bedroom and it's three full baths two story it was built in 2017 it's new okay and then right here you have the description or the remarks about the home a uh, new home attention to detail this one uh, explains that uh, it's built by Chad Broussard on and on so granite countertops if you look down here a little bit more SSN fee that's association fee it says it is it is required which is a good thing um, keep in mind that association fees keep um, keep your property value up it it, uh, it makes sure that everyone is following a simple rules of the subdivision and um, it's good to have this one's 200 um, a year see no notice association fee dollar amount 200 association fee terms is yearly okay um lot dimensions you always want to look at dot lot dimensions especially if you are looking at homes and you're not exact you want to let's say you want a bigger yard okay we'll always compare the lot dimensions to each home so you might find another home at um uh, it's a hundred by 200 so that that's another thing to look at okay it could also bring up the property value some people you know sometimes it 
um, if it's a lot more like a half acre or an acre, then it could possibly uh, bring up the property value a little bit more. Okay. F um, frame, construction, slab, air conditioning. So this gives you all the basic details. It's a sewer, public sewer, public water, siding, brick, roof, countertops, granite, wood burning fireplace, patio covered. All right, here we go. Financing. Okay, this is important as well. So when you're looking for a home, the first thing you do, you get a pre-approval letter or pre-approved. You talk with the lender and they will give you a pre-approval and they'll tell you what loans you qualify for. Okay, now this this one, financing, it, it qualifies for obviously cash, conventional, FHA, rural development. This is the rural development loan that... that um, qualifies for 100% financing you do not have to put anything down but yet you do have to um, put a um, closing cost I'm sorry you have to pay closing cost that's a fee at at closing time we can discuss that another time um, this is two car garage electric heat um, flooring tile wood laminate and the utilities slim coat more other details described exterior equipment what it's equipped uh, appliances and interior and what the HOA includes okay so that is a brief rundown of what you'll find on a flyer a MLS flyer um, this is directly from the MLS, Flex MLS, directly from an agent, okay? This is not Zillow. Zillow tends to kind of want to stretch the truth sometimes or it's not accurate. So this is directly from an agent like myself, okay? So let's look at this house. Okay, notice that this one's 1920 square feet. This one's 138 a square foot, okay? Four bedroom, three bath, and it's priced at 264 what we're going to do is we're going to compare another home, okay? It's a brand new home. It's built at the same time, and the home is actually right down the street from this one, just in a different subdivision, okay? This one, okay, this one's a little bit smaller, okay? But your list price is 110 per square foot, okay? So this house is obviously going to be cheaper or less expensive i should say this one's 1897 but the important part we're looking at is price per square foot okay the other and so what we're also going to compare is why this one is priced at 110 a square foot and the other one is priced at 138 a square foot okay you'll notice a big difference once i show you the pictures okay so let's go look at the pictures for each one of these so this is the photos for the one for one two ten okay cute home landscaping a sod in the front two car garage okay all right notice you walk into the front door um looks like the ceilings maybe nine foot maybe you know something like that all your ceiling levels it's all one level um no crown molding okay um no crown molding at all walk in here let's see all right notice notice the detail okay this one little chandelier, this little light above the dining area. Your wood or your um, countertops, they are granite. Um, and you have probably a, a lower grade, um, just a regular counter, um, I'm sorry, cabinets. Okay, nothing custom about them. Not downing, not not degrading this home or anything like that. I'm just going over and comparing um, the two homes and what you get when you pay a little bit more. You get more of a home or a custom 
customize home okay so we're just gonna scroll through these pictures you know you can see this one has carpet which carpet is a little bit less expensive okay this is the bathroom it's actually the so this is actually the master bathroom so notice the double sink um, cabinets your tub is right there with the the little tile right there on the top of it maybe they have a better picture this looks like it may be a walk-in closet here's your t toilet another better picture of the countertop notice the ceiling same height as the rest of the home okay here's a little bit better picture there's your walk-in shower okay um, just your plain basic shower and uh, the tub there's your closet again look at the closet carefully okay this is the master closet outside there's no fence they do have grass no fence and the size of the patio is pretty small okay more other bedrooms more carpet they do have uh, nice double uh, doors so I'm just gonna thumb through just go through these real quick here's the second bathroom okay can't granite countertops these are overmount um, sinks all right so look in the bedrooms in the bedrooms you you have um, just this light fixture okay that's in the other three bedrooms. Now this is probably the... I'm thinking this is the master. Let's see. Yeah. The master bedroom in this home has the, the fan. Okay. So let's go to the other home that's priced... Okay. Now this one's priced at 264, 138 a square foot. Now it's a little bit bigger, but your price per square foot is what we're really gonna look at right here, okay? So let's go to the photos on here. More detailed front elevation. Front elevation is when you're looking at the road, this is you look into the front of the home, they call that the front elevation or the elevation home. Okay. Another picture, nice door. You can see a little bit of detailed around um, above the door, detailed around the windows. When you walk in the door, higher ceilings. This is the dining area. Notice the chandelier is obviously much better than the other one, and you have trade triple trade ceiling in the, over the dining with crown molding all the way around bigger baseboard at the bottom again notice this is from the dining look into the kitchen and looking into the living room another snapshot these are stairs going up beautiful bookcases built-ins fireplace wood burning fireplace here's the mantle okay and then your ceiling you have triple trade ceiling with a fan better shot okay I mean look at the detail you can see the details way more detailed it's just crown molding all the way around in the kitchen backsplash there's beautiful black backsplash in the kitchen let's see what else granite countertops obviously bigger sink you have a little soap dispenser right there here's the big pantry and the laundry master bedroom notice the trade ceiling again crown molding all the way around notice the taller doors that's going to add value or um, cost here's the master closet notice there's book there's a not book shelves shoe a shoe case or whatever you want to put in there i guess just more room and here's the 
here's the master bathroom this is a what they call a walk through shower you can see go through this way come through the shower and come out on this side here's the tub it's just a little bit more appealing bigger ba it's a bigger bathroom uh, his and hers they have um, uh, cabinet space right here you can put a chair do your little makeup whatever you do in the middle and Here's the, the shot of the walkthrough shower. It's a bigger shower. It's tiled. The other one was plastic or fiberglass or whatever. Okay. So that's in a nut. Here's the second bathroom. Again, taller ceilings. They didn't take a picture of this, but in this one, the ceilings goes up, um, I guess, at a pyramid, I guess you could see which is at varied ceiling height upstairs there see this guy he put him up this is a four bedroom as well so he put a, a return air which will help circulate the air upstairs there's your third bed bathroom okay let's go outside the patio more features on the patio he has a fireplace wood burning fireplace um outlets and cable there's a fan on the patio obviously it's a much bigger patio and he, they even have extended area on the patio okay you can get a better view right here they also have a fence also look at right here that's where they're going to cut this out and put a grill gas grill also a um ice box mini fridge there's gonna be cabinet space there's gonna be an aluminum door right here or stainless door i should say you have fence all the way around the house so that kind of wrap that wraps up my comparison the two homes um new construction and you comparing basically one home that's more custom customized obviously than the other um i have you know i have some clients that are like hey i want to i want to go look at this one so they go look at it but they look at the price and they're like well why it's not the same price as the other one it's the same square feet or whatever well it you get more <laughs> you know what i mean so it also property value on this one okay it's it's more appealing um, the property value tends to go up rather than the others where they tend to stay the same or very slightly increase in value all right well that wraps it up if you have any questions feel free to contact me anytime again this is Ted uh, feel free to go to my website at 337homesearch.com. Uh, you can quickly log in. I have an app you can load on, on your phone as well. And thank you very much.